Hello YouTube. Um, I'm here with another declutter video. This one's not so bad. This is just my primers and I don't have a ton of primers. I honestly just I'm not super into them. I use them on a fairly regular basis but I just I find one that I like and I stick with it. So it's not like um, blushes or bronzers or something where you can have all multiple shades. I mean, some of these primers do different things, but I'm mostly just looking for making my makeup last longer, and that's pretty much it, honestly, making my makeup last longer. Uh, hydrating is a bonus, but that's, you know, I just really wanted to make my makeup stay on, because sometimes I have 12-hour work days, and I don't have time, really, to fix my makeup, nor do I want to spend the time fixing my makeup, so something that makes my makeup last forever and make it look great, then that's that's what I want. Anyways, let me dump these out. Today is not such a big deal, but my goal normally is to make everything fit into this box. It already does, but I figured I'd go through and get rid of the ones that aren't working anyways. That's good enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna start in. I'm, I'm gonna throw away this packaging. I don't know why I kept the packaging. It's just been sitting in there. This is a sample size of the Porefessional primer by Benefit. And I really like this. I usually just use it in my T-zone where I have lots of visible pores and it's nice. I really do like it. So I'm going to hold on to that. Plus it's tiny. Look how cute it is. I love samples. This is from Temp2. I'd never heard of this brand before I got it in my Ipsy bag. Uh, it's a base smooth and matte primer and it is really nice. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that. I, I've really been enjoying that. I've been considering buying the full size, but I haven't made it through my sample yet. So, This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer, and I did give this a good go. It's about halfway gone, and just, I don't know if it's because of the light or what, but I'm just not a fan of it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. Not for me. I didn't really like it. Like I said, I like my primers to make my makeup last longer, and I felt like this one, it, it made me glowy, but ultimately it made me look oily. You know what I mean? So that one I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Uh, this was a little travel size of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, this one has SPF 15. Um, ignore the swatches, by the way. I just filmed a declutter from my blushes and bronzers. Hopefully that'll be up before this one. Um, you should go check it out. So the Hourglass Mineral Veil. Yeah, um, I don't remember how I felt about this one. I feel like it's been quite a while since I used it and I remember it being like really hyped. So I think I'm going to hold on to it and give it another shot and see how I feel about it before I get rid of it. You know? Uh, this is the Garnier Skin Active 5 Second Blur. Uh, this was kind of bullshit. It really, it made my makeup clump up. I'm not even sure you're supposed to use it on, like, under makeup. It doesn't say anything about being a primer. But I, I got the impression that it was a primer. Anytime you put makeup on top of it, it just slides around, it gunks up. It just was not cute. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that because it's not what I wanted. Uh, this is... From Benefit, it's the Dr. Feel Good. The Silky Refiner blended with vitamin C and E helps to mattify, shine, and smooth away the appearance of fine lines, blah, 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 blah. So I thought it would be good for filling in pores. And uh, first off, it's a bitch to get open. It's a pain in the ass. Like, the packaging is awful. Second off, it's... I don't know. Oh, my God. It smells like my grandmother. Secondly, I guess would be my second complaint. Um, it is mattifying. It does fill in fine lines and all that stuff. It does what it's supposed to, but I didn't notice my makeup sitting particularly well on top of it. And um, like I said, it's just a bitch to open. <laughs> um, there was a little like sponge thingy that came with it that you're supposed to use. I lost that. So I apply it with a beauty blender, but I just, then it gunks up my beauty blender and I just... I'm done screwing around with it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. It, um, Ultra 
and velvety, oil-free, blah, 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 blah. It's lovely. I love this stuff. It really is nice. It feels weightless, but it does mattify and smooth and um, just makes your face feel like an angel. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And now I keep the lid on. Plus, I like the packaging with the white and the, like, the pink lid. I think it's really cute. This is the number seven Airbrush Away Pore Minimizing Primer. And this is another one I'm not, I don't really remember. It feels almost identical, actually, to the NYX one. Maybe a little bit more slippery. I don't remember how I felt about this, but it is hypoallergenic. And I have been having a lot of issues with my face, like having allergic reactions and it breaking out and stuff. So I'm going to hold on to this and see if maybe when I'm breaking out, if this, I can wear this because that would be awesome. And then lastly, this so far out of all the primers I've tried, which you can see is not a ton. Like this is all of the primers that I've ever owned. Um, this one is my Holy Grail. It really, it nourishes and it hydrates the parts of my face that are dry, but the parts of my face that are oily, it doesn't make them more oily, and it does make my makeup last longer. It's like a miracle. I love this stuff. It is amazing. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and, and keep that. I feel like I am almost out, though. I need to get another one. <sighs> All right. So that one was super quick. Because <laughs> I didn't have a lot to start with, but I am keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, and getting rid of four. That's, you know, okay. But considering the fact that I didn't have that many to start with, I'm okay with that. I really am. So that's my keep, and that's my get rid of. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that I love declutter videos, so I like making them. I love getting rid of junk. Just get it out of here. It feels good. I, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll leave a link down below to some of my other declutter videos that I've done. Uh, so if you're in the declutter kind of mood, you can go check them out. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.